Let's do this! Okay, so I got this Hisense LED LCD TV. This model is the 70H 6570G. Uh, I've noticed a lot of people online have been having issues with the Hisense uh, pretty much showing the screen that you see here, turning off and then turning back on. Sometimes there are red triangles and some blurred lines at the top of the screen as well. This issue is due to a firmware update issue on the TV. The only way to get this firmware is from Hisense themselves. So you have to call them, you have to tell them what TV you have, give them an email address, unfortunately a physical address. I still have no idea why. They will send you the email package. Oh, I'm sorry, they'll send you the firmware package in your email. You'll download it, put it on a USB stick, and we're going to run through putting the firmware on the TV now. They do give you instructions. The instruction says with the TV powered on, insert the USB stick into the TV's USB port. If the TV has both white and blue USB ports, use one of the white USB port 2.0s. All right guys, now before we go ahead and plug our USB into the TV, let me kind of give you guys a little rundown on the email that you will receive. Hisense will send you an email, dear Hisense customer, uh, thank you for contacting Hisense. Please follow the below instructions to update the TV's firmware. So this link here obviously is going to be the firmware. It tells you to download the zip file from the link. Follow the link and download the zip file. The file is compressed. Now if you have a Mac, you don't have to worry about the compression. It'll automatically uncompress when you open it. If you have a Windows, the new Windows has an unzip tool with it. You can use WinZip. It actually says that right here in the instructions as well. Uh, but once you get the file out, we'll look at that here in a second. We're going to locate the package inside the zip file. Uh, copy the file to the root level of the USB stick format as a FAT32 safely ejected. So let's just run through this real quick. Uh, we're going to go ahead and give it a push. Now I'm going to try to put this uh, firmware up here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to or how long it's going to last. Uh, it might not be up there right away, but I am going to try to put it up here. I don't know if it's going to be the same firmware for all TVs. It actually looks like it's specified for the 786570G. If that's what you have and I figured out how to get it up there, more power to you. If you guys want to try it and you don't have a 786570G, more power to you. Um, but it'll actually have you send a code. The code will ping back to your email. We'll go ahead and put our code in. Why not? So once you're in, I want to bring your attention up here in the corner. You know, you can't actually open it. So up here in the corner is your download button. Once you get it downloaded, uh, you will be good to go. So what you're going to want to do is go to your finder, hit disk utility. The disk utility is going to show you all of your different hard drives. No name is the one we're using now. Go ahead up here in the corner, hit erase. It'll ask you how you want it formatted, a FAT32. Throw a name in if you want, hit erase. It will wipe all of your info. Done. Close. Now all you have to do is pull your PKG into your flash drive and you'll be ready to go. All right, so the instructions say to insert the USB in the top most USB port. If they're blue or white, make sure you use the white one. Then they want us to turn the TV off. So I'm actually not able to turn the TV off, but the instructions say plug USB into the TV's uppermost USB port located on the rear of the TV. Please unplug the TV from the wall and plug it back in. Press and hold the power button on the TV remote control. Once you see software update appear on the screen, you may release the power button. So I guess we're gonna have to unplug it anyway. Press and hold the power button on the remote. Let's see what happens. 
There it is. It says now we can release it. Please wait and let the software update process finish. The software update process will complete without any further user interaction. The process should take between five to eight minutes. Please do not turn off the TV during this process. When the update is complete, the software update screen will disappear and the TV will be will come up as it normally does. Alright guys, so it looks like it works. It looks like the update went through. It was able to get us to the main menu. I pushed all the way through the main menu and now it seems to be working. I didn't log into the Wi-Fi, but I'm sure, I'm sure it shouldn't have any issues as far as the Wi-Fi card goes. Um, that should do it.